All right, so we're going to be deriving the equation for the moment of inertia of a hollow sphere with a rigid uh, of a hollow sphere with a rigid body. So to do this, we're going to need to write an equation for its for the mass. So um, so here we have a hollow sphere with radius r and mass m. So the way that we do this is by considering a strip or an infinitely small strip and integrating from um, one side of the sphere to the other side of the sphere. So to do that, um, we imagine that we have a, at an angle theta with radius r, so we'll write this as theta. We, this strip, which we'll call with a thickness, we'll call d theta. So this will go around the sphere from here to here. So this strip, we're going to need to write an equation for its mass and an equation for its air for its yeah mass and its area. So um, the th length of this strip we'll call r d theta. So we need to consider the mass of this strip. So mass of strip we write as dm is equal to um, mass of the entire sphere, hollow sphere m, big M over pi, uh, 4 pi r squared which is the area times if we see here we see that the area of this theoretical strip, which is like also spherical, is 2 pi r cosine of theta. The r cosine of theta comes from this length being r. So um, r times cosine of our angle theta will give us this length. So that's where that comes from. So 2 pi r cosine of theta times the thickness of our strip r d theta. So um, we see that our 2 divided by 4, or r pi r squared cancels out pi r and our r over here to give us dm. So that our, our mass of our strip is equal to big M over uh, 2 times <clears throat> cosine of theta d theta. So with this, um, we can go ahead and write our equation for moment of inertia. So i is equal to m r squared. So we have, I mean, this is what we have, but this isn't what we are going to use. We are going to use d i because of the small strips that we're going to be summing is equal to dm times r our r which is our dr which is r cosine of theta squared that is from here so uh, rewriting this we know what our dm is which is all this so we're going to write 1 over 2 m cosine of theta d theta times r cosine of theta all squared. So we're rewriting that. We're going to end up having di is equal to 1 over 2 m cosine theta d theta times r squared cosine of theta squared. <coughs> Um, simplifying this further, we see our cosine, it's going to be cosine cubed, so di is equal to 1 over 2m cosine theta cubed times r squared d theta. So now we are actually ready to integrate to calculate moment of inertia, so um, we write this as i is equal to the integral of di 
and the integral of di is equal to the integral of this whole thing, 1 over 2 m cosine cubed of theta r squared d theta. Our r squared, our half, and our m um, go on the outside of the integral. So we have i is equal to 1 over 2 m r squared times the integral of cosine cubed of theta d theta. So here are limits of integration. We're going to do it, like I said from the beginning, from the top of the sphere to the bottom of the sphere. So in our polar coordinates, right here it's negative pi over 2, and here it's positive pi over 2. So our, bound, our li limits of integration are going to be negative pi over 2 times pi over 2, positive. So integrating this, let's move over to the side. Um, the integral of cosine cubed from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Um, it's so, can't forget our 1 half mr squared. Mm, we can do this by separating our cosine cubed into cosine squared of theta times sine of theta, or my bad cosine d theta. Um, just for now, I'm not going to write the rest. Our cosine squared, we know the identity sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So moving stuff around, we will have 1 minus sine squared of theta times cosine of theta d theta. And this is either integrated by u substitution, so I will choose my u to be sine of theta d theta, or sine du is cosine theta d theta. So with this, I replace the sine with u. Our cosine of theta, which we have here, is just our du now. So rewriting this, we have 1 minus u squared du. And this is easy to integrate. So it's u minus u cubed over 3. And rewriting this, it is just, or substituting our sine back in, it's sine of theta minus sine cubed of theta over 3 over our negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And that is just equal to... 4 over 3. And uh, back to all the stuff that we had in the beginning. That's our 1 over 2 m r squared times the times this integral, which we calculated to be 4 over 3. So this 2 and this, this 4 and this 2 cancel out to give us m r squared, or sorry, 2m r squared over 3 is equal to our moment of inertia. And that is it.